In this video, we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations by addition. Some books call it elimination. Basically, you're trying to eliminate a variable. And you do this by addition. And sometimes you have to throw a little multiplying in there. So let's begin with their steps of solving systems of equations by addition. First step, get the variables on the left. Line up those variables. Decide which variable you would like to eliminate. It's your choice. Multiply one of the equations, maybe two, by a number in order to eliminate your variable. Add them up. After you find your first variable, plug it into one of the original equations to find the other variable and write your point. Let's get to work. We have 5n plus 2n equals negative 8 and 4n plus 3n equals 2. Which variable do we want to eliminate? Oh, first of all, all of the variables are on the left and they are nicely lined up for me. Well, for the m's, 5 and 4, I could make one of them 20 and one of them negative 20. That would be a way to eliminate them. For the ends, if I wanted to eliminate the ends, 2 and 3, they will both divide into 6 evenly. I could make one of them 6 and one of them negative 6. No matter what, in this case, I will have to multiply not just one equation, but both equations by something in order to eliminate one of them. I'm going to choose to eliminate the ends. If I want to get the ends, a 6 and a negative 6, I'm going to multiply the top equation, all of it, both sides, by 3. Because 3 times 2 will give me 6. And if I want the second equation to be negative 6, I'm going to multiply it times a negative 2. The first equation, 3 times everything. 3 times 5m is 15m. 3 times 2n is 6n. And 3 times a negative 8 is negative 24. The second equation, I am multiplying everything by negative 2. Negative 2 times 4m is negative 8m. Negative 2 times positive 3n is a negative 6n. And don't forget, multiply everything. So negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4. That's a common mistake. Now look at this. We can do a little adding and our n's will be out of there. Let's add them up. What's 15m and a negative 8m? It will be a positive 7m. Sure enough, positive 6n and a negative 6n are gone. Negative 24 and a negative 4 will be a negative 28. We are down to just a simple equation. Divide both sides by 7. m is negative 4. I am not done. You only have m. I need n. It does not matter which equation I plug m equals negative 4 into, I will just plug it into the first one. So 5 times m, which is negative 4, plus 2n is equal to negative 8. You are solving this equation. Multiply 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. You can add 20 to both sides. 2n will equal 12. Divide by 2, and n will equal 6. And we will put this in alphabetical order. So our m is negative 4, and our n is 6. That will be the ordered pair, negative 4, 6. We can check our answer. In the first equation, it would be 5 times negative 4 plus 2 times 6, and I am wondering, does that equal negative 8? 5 times negative 4, that would be negative 20, plus 2 times 6 is 12, negative 20 plus 12 
Yes, indeed, it is negative 8. This answer should also work in our other equation, which was 4n plus 3n equals 2. So I will have 4, and m is negative 4, plus 3 times n, which you told me was 6. And the question is, does it equal 2? 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16, plus 3 times 6 is 18, and yes, indeed it does. It does equal 2. So our answer, the point negative 4 is 6, is the solution to that systems of equation.